So your local gym just opened back up. Should you go? In this video, we're going to discuss. What's going on, everybody? My name is Steven. I'm a licensed physical therapist. So should you go back to the gym? Now, I know in a lot of areas, the local gyms are opening back up. But is it really safe to do that? I'm going to give you my thoughts and opinions on this. And make sure you stick around to the end of the video because I'll tell you whether or not I'll be going back to the gym anytime soon. So this question depends on several factors. I think the most important factor is your own health. So if you're somebody that is a little bit older, meaning over about 60 years old, if you have any underlying health conditions, then I would say at this point to stay away from the gym and make sure that this virus is under control before you think about going back. Now, if you're somebody that's a bit younger than that, should you go back to the gym? So I think the first point that I made in terms of any underlying conditions applies here. So if you have anything, high blood pressure, if you're obese, any of these things, I would avoid going back to the gym for right now. What if you're a young, healthy adult? Should you go back to the gym? So I think in this case, there's a few factors that we need to think about. Number one, your location. So what is the virus's current outreach in your location? I'm up here in New York. So as of right now, the virus is declining. We already hit our peak about a month and a half ago or so, and it's been declining slowly since then. But I know other areas of the country are actually increasing. So I think this is an important point to factor in is your location and what the virus is currently doing in terms of its spread, where you're located. Another factor that comes into play here is what type of gym you're going to be going to. So is it going to be one of the major gyms around the country, such as Planet Fitness or any of those big ones like that? Or is it going to be a gym that is a more local gym that there's probably less attraction to the gym? So there's probably less people going to the gym at this point, as opposed to some of these bigger places. Now, going off of that, I think that you should call the gym or maybe even go there and see what kind of things they've been doing to slow the spread of the virus and bacteria in general from person to person and from different surfaces. So I know that some gyms are separating the equipment. Some gyms are blocking off certain equipment uh, pieces. Some gyms are moving their equipment to a different part of the gym if it's large enough that they can accommodate that. So I would find out what your gym that you're going to be going to is actually doing currently if they're open right now in terms of stopping the spread. I also know that a lot of these gyms that are opening up are limiting the amount of people that can go in at one time. So when it comes down to it, you just wanna make sure your gym is being safe and protecting everybody that goes there. Another thing to consider when you're thinking about going back to the gym is what kind of routines are you going to be doing there? What kinds of equipment do you actually need? And is it something that maybe you can continue doing at home for a little bit longer as opposed to going to the gym? So if you're somebody that likes to lift heavy weights and you don't really have access to those at home, the gym is really the only place that you feel you can get those type of workouts. That's another factor that you have to consider. However, if you're somebody that focuses more on cardiovascular exercise and body weight routines, maybe that's something you can hold off going to the gym and just continue doing things that you've been doing either at home or outside, as opposed to going to the gym and either running on a treadmill or using some of their mats there to do your body weight exercises. Another point related to this is the duration of your workouts. This may be something that if you do decide to go back to the gym, you may want to reduce the time that you're actually there for. So if you're somebody that normally works out for say an hour to an hour and a half, and you do want to go back to the gym and you feel like it is safe to go back, you may want to, especially right now, limit the time that you're there. So instead of doing that hour to an hour and a half, you may want to start with only a 30 to 45 minute workout just to limit your exposure to touching different surfaces and the amount of people that are coming and going while you're actually at the gym. Something else to consider is what kind of equipment have you been using since this all started back in, well, for us in the United States, really March. So have you purchased equipment? Do you have any dumbbells, barbells, resistance bands, any other type of equipment that you might like to use? Do you have those things at home? And have you been working out at home? What kind of motivation have you had being at home? I know for some people, they've been more motivated to work out because now they have more time. Maybe they're not working. Maybe they're just able to spend more time into exercising because they weren't able to go out and do other things. However, some other people have a hard time getting the motivation to actually exercise at home 
just because of the atmosphere. And I think that's why gyms are so important normally is because they give a lot of people that outlet to go and just exercise. So if you're somebody that can be motivated at home, so maybe you found exercise routines that you've been able to do at home or outside that maybe you don't need to go to the gym for. I know that a lot of exercise equipment increased in price as the virus started to increase, but that might be something worth looking into now. Perhaps the prices have dropped a bit, so if you're considering going to the gym or exercising at home, but you do not have equipment right now, maybe go online and take a look at what you can get for your specific needs. One last important point that I want to make in this video is how comfortable would you be if you actually got sick? So what I mean by that is obviously if you're going to the gym, you're putting yourself at risk more than if you were to stay home. I don't want this to sound grim, but it's just the truth. If you go out and you expose yourself to areas that other people are using and a place where there are a decent amount of people there coming and going, then the fact is that you are putting yourself at more of a risk than if you were to do these exercises at home. So if God forbid you were to get sick, would you be comfortable with that? But this really comes down to your risk tolerance. If you feel like going to the gym is safe for you because you're young, you're healthy, if you were to get sick, you'd probably be just fine, then that is your decision. But however, if you're more conservative and you don't believe the virus is contained at this point and you want to be as safe and as healthy as possible, then you should probably stay home. Now, as far as me, will I be going back to the gym anytime soon? So back in March, when all of this started, I actually invested in some Bowflex dumbbells and I had some resistance bands already. I also purchased a pull-up bar that I put into my doorway because at the time I figured that this would last a while and I wanted to make sure that I was able to get my workouts in at home as best that I can. However, I do really enjoy going to the gym. I love the machines that they have at the gym. I do feel like I get a slightly better workout at the gym as opposed to home. I think that my motivation has been pretty strong at home. However, I can't lift the same amount of weight that I could at the gym. With all of that said, will I be going back to the gym? The answer is not yet. So like I said, I do have some equipment at home that I've been using. I was previously going to Planet Fitness. And for me at this time, I just don't yet feel comfortable going to the gym. I want to wait a little bit longer to make sure that this virus is really contained. It seems like in a lot of areas of the country that may have opened up already a little bit earlier than New York did, they have seen a spike in cases. So I'm just a little bit afraid that that could happen here if things start to open up a little bit quicker than maybe they should. So for me, I'm going to continue doing the workouts that I've been doing at home, both with the weights that I've purchased back in March and as well as body weight exercises. So in the end, just make sure you're doing what's best for you. The most important thing is staying healthy. So whether or not that means going to the gym because you need that motivation to exercise or staying home and doing your workouts at home. I would recommend though, if you're going to the gym, make sure that you're wearing your mask. I would also recommend wearing disposable gloves so you're not in contact directly with any of the surfaces or the weights or machines that you'll be touching. And please just be sure if you are going to the gym, be courteous and clean every single piece of equipment that you touch and try to limit the time that you're at the gym. If you like this type of content, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you can see every time that I upload a video. My plan is to upload every day during the week, Monday through Friday, and on the weekends when I can. This channel is going to be focused on health and fitness, but since I'm also a licensed physical therapist, I'm going to include routines geared towards specific injuries as well. So please stay safe out there, and I really thank you for checking out this video. Be sure to go to my channel and check out some of my exercise videos and some of the other things that I've posted. Thanks again, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.